All right, let's, uh, we're going to go through a couple of interesting videos about New York City where, uh, <clears throat> you know, we're just, I'm going to talk to y'all about some of the things to look out for if you're ever visiting New York um, and how to handle these people <laughs> if you ever have the misfortune of interacting with them. So uh, first thing we'll go through is, you know, the first thing you got to realize is, is nothing is free. So if, if there's people handing you stuff, they're not just giving it to you. You know what I mean? They're going to want something. They're going to want money for it. And you got to realize that a lot of people in New York City are, are a, a whole different animal than what you're used to. They, they will try they will they won't hesitate to try to intimidate you they won't hesitate to try to make you feel very uncomfortable they don't give a shit it's like i would see these people and i'd be thinking to myself how could they be so like uncaring about the impact they're having on others you know what i mean there was this one guy in Times Square when I used to do my dollar joke thing, and it used to piss me off. He called himself a comedian. You know, it was just this black dude, this cra literally a crackhead. I mean, and uh, so he would go up to, he would target white tourists, obviously. He'd go up to them and, you know, start talking to them, and he'd be like, look, I'm a comedian. If I can tell you a joke, you throw me a tip or something. And then he would tell them some joke that that played on their white guilt. I forget what it was. I wish I remembered it because he told the same joke every time. And basically it was something about having black grandkids or some, something to that effect that would make the tourists like feel obligated to laugh at it because it was like it played on their white guilt. You know what I mean? And then the tourists would give him sometimes 20 bucks for this stupid, terrible, horrible joke. But he was just asking them for a tip. And it used to really get on my nerves because he would make four or 500 bucks in like an hour or two. And I'd be out there with my stupid dollar joke sign telling jokes that I wrote, working 10 times harder and making 10 times less money. But I could do what he did. I probably wouldn't have been as successful as him at it because I didn't have the whole playing the white guilt off the Taurus, but I could be, you know, I could play the part of some New York City street dude that's just, you know what I mean? I, I could have pressured the Taurus out of money too. And believe me when I tell you, it crossed my mind many times. But I also realized that if I start doing this and, and I start just making... 200 bucks an hour every time i feel like it it it's not what i need in my life i did like it it's gonna bring me to a grinding halt and i'm gonna be living the same way this guy lives probably the difference is he spends his money on crack i'd probably be spending it on heroin you know what i mean um but that was you know that was why i didn't do it i knew that easy money was not what i needed at the time but that that's what annoys me about people when they're like Oh, you didn't, you know, why didn't you get a job? Or why didn't you do this? Or why didn't you do that? Oh, you were doing dollar jokes? What a, do like, d d let me tell you something, bro. I could have been making a lot of money if I wanted to. You know what I mean? It's it's just that I knew, and people are like, oh, why wouldn't you want to make a lot of money? Because at the time, I would have spent it all on drugs. You know, and, and I knew that. I knew that about myself. And on top of that, I had to play a character that is not me. I had to be kind of a bully you know that that it, i don't want to be that way god doesn't want me to be that way to these these tourists are easy targets people think like look new york city is an intimidating place and a lot of the people there are intimidating people it's not hard to get somebody to come up off their money in a place like new york city when you are a local and you are comfortable there and you're dealing with someone who's not comfortable there and they've heard all these stories about new york and people getting attacked and this and that and people will attack you on the street in new york don't don't get it wrong don't get it twisted they will and a lot of these people on the street they play off of that they you know it's this underlying aggression when nine times out of ten it's a bluff but 
it, it's not always a bluff. You know what I mean? There are people in New York City who will attack you. They'll attack you with weapons. I'm not trying to get everyone scared in New York City. Look, this is one in in 10 people that approaches you. And even then, if you handle them properly, they're not going to attack you. You know what I mean? Um, I'll show you all some, I'll show you all some things uh, with this one. Let me tell you something. You see a group like this approaching you in New York, you better, <laughs> you better be careful, bro. Like I'm, you know, I'm not saying you should be intimidated or afraid. You should not, because if you're intimidated and afraid, people sense that it, it'll draw aggression out of them. But you do not want to, like with a group of dudes like this, you don't want to be acting hard because they, you know, they don't care, bro. They do not care. They know they can get away with attacking you right there on the street. They know this. So be as polite as you can. Don't give up no money. They're not going to attack you just for not giving up money. They might act like they're going to, but they're, they're not going to, unless it's a straight hold up, which... That's not really how these people operate with the tourists. They, you know, unless you are in specific parts of Brooklyn, the Bronx, Queens, which you, you're a tourist, you're not going to be in these places. You're going to be in Manhattan. So, you know, if you if you go into certain parts, you know, if, let me put it to you this way. If you look up and you see a Kennedy's fried chicken, you're in the wrong part of New York City. Get your ass onto that train and go somewhere else. Only in the deepest, darkest, ghettoest parts of New York City are you going to see Kennedy's fried chicken. Um, I mean, you know, there's there's one by the train station in Jamaica, Queens, which is Southside, Queens, which is... It's not the nicest part of the fucking world. You know, you could during the day you're probably fine around there. You go to Southside at night, you you better be local, bro. You know what I mean? Like I I stayed there with a friend for a little while. You, you know, you got to be careful around there. Like the Bronx where I lived in the Bronx, I lived right above a Kennedy's fried chicken. Um I lived in kind of the ghetto of the Bronx, but here's the thing, when you live there and people see you every day, it's different. They know they know I'm not a tourist. They know I live there. And I knew multiple people around my neighborhood just from living there, so I don't got to worry about it. But it was a dangerous part of the Bronx. Um, if you would never be, you would never, I was up around Tremont and University Ave. So, you know, there's gang wars going on, people getting killed. And um, you, you, you wouldn't be in that part of the Bronx. There's no way you can accidentally land in that part of the Bronx. It's so far away from every tourist type thing that there's absolutely no way. And Jamaica, Queens, you might end up there to get up to get up to JFK because some of the trains in Jamaica take you there, but you ain't going to be there at midnight roaming around the streets. You know what I mean? So, and I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just, you know, you wouldn't be in these parts of New York. You're going to be in Manhattan. So these are the kind of people you're going to be dealing with. You're not going to be dealing with the real killers. You know what I mean? So watch this. Smash it. <laughs> hey, what's up? Oh, man, hey, what's up? Hey, hey, what's up, man? Hey, Let me sign the music for you. No, I'm all right. Thanks. Oh, sign it. Oh, no, I'm okay, sorry. Right. Negro. Thanks. Cool, man. That's another thing they pulled. Don't, I'm a nice black person. Don't be afraid. Like, they, you know. It, they're, they all pull the same shit, bro. They're trying to make it seem like... This is why they say that, because they want you to feel like if you walk away, you're being, like, racist or some shit. They play, y'all mother... They play the Taurus like a fiddle, bro. And and nine times out of ten, it works. The Taurus are like, oh, now I can't walk away because he's going to think I'm racist or... You know, and so then they're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, dude, I'll take the CD. Oh, here's 20 bucks, like... You know, I'm not saying you should be slapping a motherfucker in the face and trying to fight him, but don't give him your money, bro. Man, let me sign the music for you. No, I'm all right, thanks. I'm sign it. Oh, no, I'm okay, all right. Negro. Cool, man. I don't want it, sorry. All right. I'm all right, thanks. Your name, Bill. All right, I don't need it. Your name, your name. No. I'm all right, thanks. I don't need it. Sorry. All right, forget it. Sorry. I didn't know it. Hey, why'd you hit me? Why'd you hit me for? What the heck? That guy just went boom. You all saw that, right? 
You all saw that on live stream. So I got assaulted on camera. Like really. Um I believe he's walking I think he's walking down uh Eighth Avenue towards Penn Station because this you see where the cursor is? I think that's that really nice post office right across the street from Penn Station. He's some he he's in Midtown somewhere. Look at it. Look at this shit. You have to pick that shit up, buddy. This is the next one. Hold on. Now this guy. Now this is Times Square. Um. Now I used to work. Do you see where the where the mouse cursor is? I used to be over in this area, over by Chase. I'm pretty sure that's Chase Bank right over there. I mean, I used to be all around this whole area, but back when I was in Times Square, it was different. It didn't, it, it was a little different. They kind of built it up a little more. You know, the buildings have been there, but the, this nice, like, paved stones on the ground or whatever, these, that shit, that shit didn't used to be there. It just used to be, it used to be just painted. Um, Times Square, it's when, it's where Broadway, <clears throat> and um, I think 7th Avenue cross, and then you got, it's like from like, <clears throat> I guess about 42nd Street up to about maybe 48th Street, if you want to see Times Square on a map, but I know this area well, man, I spent a lot of time out here, I mean, it, bring, it brings back a lot of memories just seeing it. album all original i'm a, i do reggae and hip-hop where you from now you see how he's acting friendly but there's this underlying aggression like just just watch how he acts now he's acting outwardly friendly but the the energy he's sending out is like i'm a, i'm i'm i could attack you at any any moment oh uh, where you from sorry i'm not interested. what's your name sir i'm ken I'm gonna give you a big autograph, Penny. All right, sure. To Ken, that's my autograph right there, Ken. Thank okay. you, Ken. We Thank don't sell so it, Ken. We just ask for a donation for the record, Ken. Thank okay. you. Uh, it doesn't I matter what you have, it. Ken. I'm sorry. No, no, I autographed it already. I give you change, whatever you need, brother. I, Thank you. I don't want it. I'm fine. Ken, I need Thanks. something for the album. I'm all right. Small tip. Thanks, man. Small tip. My guys is around. Small tip. My guys is around saying, like, look at, look at the way they're, look at, look at the looks they're giving. They're trying to, you know, they're trying to be intimidating. Here's the thing. You're in the middle of Times Square, although these type of people... They might slap you in the middle of time. This is how fucking... I mean... They... they, You know, there's the naked cowboy back there. He's legit, bro. He ain't... He, he's performing a service. He's doing his silly little thing out there. He, he ain't never bullying nobody out of nothing. But these motherfuckers, man. I mean, I didn't want... You gotta come here and you gotta give me a tip. tip, sir, tip, tip. Yes. This is, all my, this, this is my tip, my band. Thank you, Ken. Ken, Ken, pick that up, Ken. No, 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 pick that shit up, buddy. I don't want, I'm sorry. Okay, now here's the costume, people. Look, I mean, are we not in a dystopian future or what? Look at the weird shit we got going on in our world. You got, look at this shit. <laughs> For whatever reason, a lot, of, a lot of the costume people are Spanish and don't speak English. They're like probably illegals from somewhere. Afraid of black men, where you
See what they do? Thanks for not being afraid of black men. He's trying to shove the CD at him. Shake a hand. I'm not a drug dealer. Where you from? Take care of my feet. <laughs> Thanks for not being afraid of a black man. Here's my CD. Shake my hand. Keeps walking. Get that fucking camera out of my face. <laughs> If Elmo ever comes charging towards you while you're in New York City, run the other way, and this is why. There's a common scam in New York and many other Elmo. big cities where people dressed up in costumes will try to get you to take a photo. That could be, I might know this one. That might be Steve. Um, he makes those costumes. He, you gotta hand it to Steve. He makes some badass costumes. Look at that. He made that. So, you know. I ain't seen Steve in 10 years, but th that might be Steve. They come up to you acting super nice, making it seem like the photos are free. They even sometimes jump into the photo. But look, the costumes, yeah, the stupid costumes, Elmo, Minnie Mouse, Spider-Man, the lame ones, they're probably going to be aggressive and stuff. The guys who make the elaborate, cool costumes, like the Transformer, or I've seen the Predator out there, with these people make these badass costumes. They're not gonna, they let the tourists approach them because their costumes are so elaborate and just, they put so much work into it that the tourists will go up to them like, yo, can I get a picture? And they'll be like, yeah, just throw me a tip. Those guys who make the cool, elaborate costumes, those are the ones who, in my opinion, deserve the business, not the people who buy some stupid Elmo costume. There was this one homeless guy with this cloth Iron Man costume that was all filthy with holes. And <laughs> I used to, I'd see him out there and I was like, look at the balls on this guy. I mean, he looks like as if he just got dragged behind a car for a half hour, you know? And he's trying to get towards to give him money to take a picture with him, which in my opinion, it'd be a great picture because <laughs> he was so obviously homeless and it's just funny when you didn't ask after the photo is taken they asked for some crazy amount i mean look at this r ridiculous look at this sloppy ass you know what i mean like 20 or 40 dollars and if you don't pay they get very angry look at this shit look at this <laughs> i mean is it just keep walking. Look at they go from. Look at this shit. Happy for a picture. Somebody, what about the picture? Oh, here's another scam you'll see in New York now. There's these guys that'll have like a bag of food. It'll be just, you know, a couple of sandwiches, a, a couple of fruit snacks, and they'll be like. I'm feeding the homeless. Uh, can you give me a donation? To and you can take some food if you want. It's a, it. They're they're not feeding anyone. They're just they come on the train. They put on this big sob story. They're full of shit. Nine times out of ten. Um. What just just watch how he watch how he is. Now this guy's not even that bad. I've seen way worse. It's definitely a man. Well, say, All right, yo, man. We nice guys. We help the kids get food and clothes and go on the field trip. Nice. That's uh, good. Show some love, man. Anything to help us out. We help the kids get food and clothes and go on field trips. Show some love. Help us out. I'm surprised he didn't say, well, thanks for not being afraid of a black man. You mean take one? Yeah, it's a donation. Oh, no, I, I have no money, sir. But can yeah, I eat I, one? Can I have a fruit roll-up? You got to buy it. I'm, I'm a hungry guy. Look at me. I'm skinny. That's what we are here for. We helping our kids get food and clothes. But instead of just giving you the money, how about you just directly give me the food? I will give you one. Yeah. Give me a dollar. No, but you say that's to feed to the hungry, and if I'm hungry... It's for the group on, though. Mm, for the kids, group. I give everybody, I give everybody one that's hungry, you know what I mean? Right. What about the kids, though? Hey, what's going on with all this? What about the kids? This weed people are selling. Isn't it illegal? Yeah, yeah. You should eat weed. Yeah, but it's... <laughs> oh, he's helping out the kids. What, you need weed? Isn't it illegal in this? No, I still have no money on me right now. I'm just asking for later. Oh, how long? I don't know. Ten minutes? Come back to you. Okay. Cause yeah. I wouldn't buy weed off him. I, I I would buy weed on the street in New York. Just there was people that I trusted and knew in certain parts of the city. Obviously, I can't tell y'all where. But my advice is, don't buy weed off strangers in the street in New York. And if you do, um, 
I mean, I wouldn't just give him your money and let him go get it. And the other thing is, I wouldn't let him just hand me something that I can't see. You know, so. Yeah, I didn't know if it's legal, illegal. You got to see it. Smell it. Smoke right in your face. Really? I'm dead ass in you. Nice, man. Yeah, I'm from Vancouver because we, we smoke, <laughs> you know, it's no, legal in Canada. You can smoke anywhere. You can smoke anywhere. They don't really? Smoke. That's awesome. Okay, yeah, I'm going to keep uh, cruising around here. Oh, these are the boys there. Hey, what's going on? Hey, what do you got here? Cool. Is this a CD? Stop the violence. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Sweet, what's this one about? What's the difference in that one and this one? This is the same thing, it's just my master copy. Oh, this is your master copy? Well, I don't want your master copy. I mean, no, I was going to sign it and sign this one for you. Well, oh, you can still donation. sign it. Try to raise the donation, though. So I can't have one for free, though? Because I could put it out on my channel and I could uh, let people know. I got you. Come back in like five minutes. I got you. All right. Hey, sir, how are you, sir? Why are you recording me, my nigga? You okay, I won't record you. Sorry, sorry, you sorry, 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 sorry. Hey, sir, how are you, sir? Why are you, why you recording me, my nigga? You okay, I won't record you. Sorry, sorry, you sorry, doing, sorry, sorry. I won't record you, okay? What fuck you doing? I just was curious fuck about... fuck away from me, man. All right, all right, man. I... Fuck away from me. Okay, okay. So I won't, I won't film. No, you didn't. You were, you were being nice. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, so some people clearly do not like. You see how people are in New York, man. I mean, there, there, there are some bullies in New York. I, I am not gonna, I'm not gonna candy coat it, man. I guess that's enough for now. Um, I'll make another vi video at some point in the future because there are countless. <laughs> I mean, there's so many scams in New York City. Um. When I live down in Chinatown, there is um, there's people selling fake gold, fake Gucci, fake Prada, fake everything. Although I got to say, there's places in New York where you can get real Gucci, real Prada, real everything. It's hot. It ain't legit. I mean, it's real. It's real Gucci, real Prada. I got a pair of Prada sunglasses for 20 bucks, but it's off someone I know. You know what I mean? I would not buy Prada sunglasses on the street in New York, in New York unless I knew the person. And, you know, or you could just Google the serial number that's on it, and it'll tell you right then and there on your phone whether it's real or not. Anyway... We'll get in, into that stuff on a future video. Um, I appreciate every single one of you. Um, thanks for the likes, comments, and subs. Thanks for the Patreon support. Um, I need to get a new video up on my other chan channel. I'm going to be working on that tomorrow. I'm going to be filming my next Patreon video tonight and hopefully put that up tomorrow. Today is Tuesday. So, everybody have a good one, and I will see you all on the next one. Later.